it's mostly my grandkids. I take them out on a land. We work on cutting meat, working on hide, traveling. That's what I do with my grandkids. So, so they're learning from when, from the early age. When we go out, they get really excited to go out there. So that's really important to me. There's nobody out there that's that's teaching them. So um, I'm working, but then I on my my time off, I'll, I'll take a few days off just to take them out there uh, because nobody else is going to do it so and they're excited to learn the culture stuff so it won't die. The education is important too but then to to go out there on a, on a land is very important. Yeah, we have to keep our land and you know for the for the future when for the next generation mm -hmm. we have to keep our land and Make it a life by traveling on it all the time <coughs> and making a use of it. If the kids can go out there, they can go trapping or you know, like I'm te even teaching them how to trap. And the, with them now, now that those traps that they make is so dangerous, but then uh, once you catch on how to set it, then it's easy. It's important that they can make a living out there. They can go uh, education and out on the land is very important because like down the road like what if there was no no more fuel for the power and what they're gonna do so it, it's really important that they know their how to survive out there too because that way they're in town and then what if the, everything shut down and there's you have to get your own wood you have to get your own water that is really important because um what if down the road there's no more fuel for to run the power corp and stuff like that and mm -hmm. you know like uh, at least they know how to survive out there that way so that's why it's so important for me for me to teach it to my grandkids they're getting the education and then plus to survive so, so it's good that they know both like right now for me the moose hide um, and the caribou tanning all those are dying slowly dying I don't know like for this community I don't think there's anybody here to do that. I think just me, I'm doing it. I don't, I don't see anybody else like working on those stuff, those caribou hides and they all get thrown away and I don't see anybody else working on those stuff. So in a week, I'm gonna take some uh, young girls out to teach them how to cut hair because that way at least we could uh, cut the hair off and throw in a freezer and then, and then Another project we could do the the rest, yeah. So that one is dying that I know. Huh? Like long time ago, when when I was a child, I seen all my grandparents and other elders working, but today I don't see anybody. So that's really important that that don't die mm -hmm. in our language. Every day. There's somebody working on wood, there's somebody uh, going to nets, there's somebody going hunting, there's somebody going to, like every day you're doing exercise, so every day you're busy, every day you're exercising, you can, you can just stay inside and sleep and watch TV. Mm -hmm. There's always something to do outside, like there you could, you could go on a skidoo, you could go on a, go hunting, trapping, go, go visit your cabin, go fishing. You know, like everybody goes in a fall time across to Arbor Lake and and string a net and take about a three four hundred fish out, not even a couple of hours. So there's all kind of things to do. In ten years, probably this um, generation will be, if they take uh, everything seriously, they'll they'll be carrying on that what. What we're uh, what we're teaching them, mm -hmm. like the trapping and the school gets funding for trapping to take the school kids out, so that's important to us. And um, like every spring, the school take all the kids out to out on a land. So in ten years, those those young people, um, yeah, they should be good if they're carrying on. That same like how how much how important is the land and for them to continue to look after our land and the water.